Seen weather with Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley. Well, it's another day of sunshine in the morning and then scattered storms developing this afternoon. Most of them in Mobile and Baldwin County are restricted to areas near the coast and we're seeing them move through Mississippi now, as you can see from live pinpoint Doppler. But first, we're going to take you into the city of Mobile. You can see we still have some light to moderate rain going on through uh, the Tolmanville area, also through downtown Pritchard, up towards Sarah Land and Chickasaw, and also out west on Highway 98 through 8 Mile, and also around the Sims area. Also, some rain across the uh, bay, or at least heading across the bay through the causeway and the bayway over in the Daphne and Spanish Fort, and that extends all the way up towards Baymanette and Stapleton. The heaviest storms now that were earlier across Baldwin and Mobile counties now continuing to track towards the west, so it looks like Jackson County seeing most of the rain if you live in LaRue or Latimer. This rain's almost on your doorstep, and you'll have to deal with this here for the next couple of hours or so. Also through portions of George County, you can see the rain uh, continues from Loosedale down to Barton and Agricola. But most of the rain should start falling apart here later on this evening. We're expecting uh, temperatures overnight tonight to fall back into the 60s and 70s. So by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, a mostly cloudy sky, temperatures around 70 across the area. And we're expecting highs again in the upper 80s to around 90 for tomorrow afternoon. This is what's going on right now. We have uh, showers and storms just kind of flaring up all over the place. And most of these, again, should dissipate after sunset. So we're looking at a partly cloudy sky for your Friday plans and the chance for rain for tomorrow should be less than 20% across the region. Here's a look at pinpoint predictor. Notice as we go through the overnight hours, the clouds will continue, but we should see some sunshine here by afternoon and the chance for rain for Friday is going to be less than 20%. Saturday, we're going to have an east to northeast wind and what that will do is help lower the humidity. So we're going to have those mornings in the 60s with high temperatures around 90 here through the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. Looks like on Monday, we're going to have a cold front that's going to come through, bring a chance for some showers and lower humidity with cooler weather here for the middle part of next week. All right, Derek, we continue to report.